Hello, hello, Blissful here. It's Michelle Abraham, your host here today. And have I got an amazing guest for you. I'm bringing you my friend, Susan Brown. Uh, her and I met a few months ago at a mastermind in Vegas, and I just fell in love with what she was up to in the world and thought I have to bring her on to Blissful Parenting so that our parents out there can hear what she is up to. So hi, Susan. How are you? I'm good. And I'm so blessed to be here. Not to say to your audience, they're so blessed to have you. So y'all keep showing Michelle the love. She's like one of the most amazing humans and just here supporting all the parents. So all the love to you. And thanks for being here. It's my honor. Oh, thanks so much, Susan. That's awesome. Well, let me tell our audience a little bit about more about you. So Susan is the encourager and simple solution guru and founder of Susan Brown Coaching. She's on a mission to help people just like us reduce the overwhelm and rediscover joy by simplifying our lives. Wouldn't that be amazing, families? Yes. As she speaks to audiences large and small, she draws from her own inspirational journey, including being bullied, homelessness, four miscarriages, and becoming a caregiver to her paralyzed mom. So Susan's developed something really cool that we're going to talk about today. And her background is just so extensive that this, like what she developed makes such perfect sense for her and so much sense for the rest of us families out there to have uh, have have what she's created in mind. So I'm going to just leave that as an open loop there, Susan. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. But first of all, tell us a little bit more about you and uh, and what how you started on this journey of really helping families um, have some peace of mind. Yeah, sure. I think that um, one of my favorite things to say is what it takes to simplify is a strategy born from the struggle. And since I've had so many struggles, like we all have, and especially moms and parents, um, we're so good at adapting and figure out things to simplify that down, right? So in addition to being a parent, I also have been a caregiver to my completely paralyzed mom. I actually had both of my children while I was her caregiver. Before that, I was an EMT and I was also a health and safety director at a, a local Red Cross chapter during 9-11. So that is kind of like my history of just that longing to care, that innate ability that a lot of women have and moms, but also just that need to strategically simplify so that we can just navigate life with a little bit less intensity. I'm never going to be that person that says it's easy because it's not, right? Like there's hard, there's ugly, there's downright dirty, there's loss, there's tragedy. But I think we can have systems in place to navigate with a little bit less intensity. Out of the work that you've done um, over the last few years, you really started to see that people's lives were really complicated. And especially when it came to like something of an emergency, right? Where like you need to like find out where the social insurance numbers are or where the passports are or where even like how to get into an email address. And it was funny. This was a very timely conversation because this morning before we got on this interview, I was just sharing with Susan before we pressed record <laughs> that I... For some reason, I could not get into um, my email address, the Zoom account or anything, and it's all connected to LastPass. And that's all great and all, but like, I don't have it written down anywhere else. And when I couldn't get into LastPass, I started to have a bit of panic because if I can't get into LastPass, which holds all the passwords, it means I can't get into like anything else for the rest of my day. <laughs> so I was having a bit of a panic before this kind of um, this conversation <laughs> today. <laughs> so it's kind of funny and timely of the con uh, of the type of work that you do, Susan. <laughs> well, and we all know that panic, don't we? And what wells up with panic is like the opposite of what we're going after, which is peace, right? Peace of mind. And um, I think we all know that. And what you're doing here, Michelle, is so important because one thing that I think a lot of people from my generation, um, I'm a little bit older of a parent, I'll be 50 next month, is that there was the big three taboo things we never talked about, right? Money, sex, and death, all no-no topics, all off the table. But the problem with that is usually when there's th things you don't talk about, they're the things you think about, right? And you want to know about them. So I remember even as a child becoming very aware when I was like nine years old and I had the logical unemotional thought like oh my gosh what happens to us kids if something happens to my parents it was that age you kind of start to become aware of your parents mortality maybe not necessarily your own but and I started thinking like is there a guidebook like would we know how to pay the bills would we be old enough where my were sister and we could stay together like what what would we actually do and then fast forward um years and when I was at EMT 
I would actually hear the questions and they were being logged away in my brain and this longing in my heart was still there of something tangible, a practical way to actually help people reduce what I have termed UCS, unnecessary compounded suffering. And so I would hear these questions as we would see tragedy unfold before us and take people's bodies to the morgue and watch families just be completely destroyed. And they would say, oh my gosh, he just started that new job. I don't know where his company credit cards are. Oh, did he have life insurance? Oh, he paid the bills. I don't even know who the mortgage is with. And all these things. And as we would roll away, I have chills right now because I can still picture these people's faces. I would think, God, please help me. There has to be something else we can do. There has to be a way to prevent all this level, that part of the unnecessary suffering. And then when I became a caregiver to my completely paralyzed mom, um, my EMT organizational skills came into play with her because her care was life or death 24 seven because she was completely vent dependent. She had every tube known to man. And so I had to have things just so, or if it took me 10 seconds to find something instead of it being right there, she could die. It would be an airway thing, life or death. And so I started thinking about with my mom, okay, well, she could outlive me. She's on a ventilator. She was, you know, she had her mind and everything. And I thought, what? I need to figure out some sort of tangible way, like if something happens to me, so somebody can pick up right behind me. And I learned that actually when I was a health and safety director at the Red Cross, they said, um, and this is something as women we don't like to hear, right? But it's something that I think we all internally think about and we kind of wish for it to be true, is my boss that hired me said, listen, make yourself expendable. And what I mean by that is you're not expendable, you are valuable, but make it where if you're out sick or you're gone, you know, on a long vacation or in a hospital or something happens, or all of a sudden like a tree falls, you can't get out of your driveway, make it where somebody can pick up, come in, see your whole system and they can do your job until you get back. So that really kind of internalized, but I still couldn't put the pieces together. And then um, when things started really clicking is I was having a third miscarriage. Long story short, I nearly died on the floor in front of my two young children. My four-year-old saved my life. I taught her the week before to call my husband on the little phones. At that time, was like all keyboard and little screen, the newer Samsung phones. This was so long ago. Um, and right before I blacked out again, when I came to you, I remember thinking, oh, my goodness, it's come full circle, the big three, and I don't talk about it with my kids. And I wasn't scared to die in that moment because I knew where I was going. And I wasn't worried that my family would worry about me where I was going, but I knew that they weren't going to know where the passwords are. They weren't going to know how to do certain things that only I did. Mm -hmm. And it just was this heavy burden on my soul, Michelle. So last year, actually, I was walking a friend through her husband very uh, tragically dying and we stayed in close touch and I told her I said if there is anything you need to know I don't care what time or day night it is call me text me I don't care what I have to do to find out I'll get you the answer because I'm a research guru I love it it thrills my soul and that's actually when the peace of mind binder was born and when it find, when I was looking at pieces and she would say after he did pass, oh, I need to know about social security. I'm like, holy crap, I haven't thought about that. So I would spend like a week doing nonstop research, getting that together and making it all in this PDF fillable format. So yes, you could print it out, but you could update pages as you need it, tear old ones out. And as I was putting this together, I just fell down in tears. It dawned on me. I thought, this is it. This is the answer to the 40 year prayer. I was nine years old when I started longing for something that had to be that missing gap. And here I was 49 and God was so good to give me the answer. And so the peace of mind blueprint was born and um, it has nothing but five star reviews so far. The great thing about it is, is I'm passionate about it just being one purchase for the entire family. So if you have for your whole household, if you have five people in your household, you pay for it once, you can download it five different times also free updates for life we've been requested to add a pet section a volunteer section so you know we know that we're going to be evolving as we grow so as we do it shoots you an email say here's the updated section pretty soon we have an app coming out that will have all the different pieces and you can just customize it as you need it but the best part is this isn't just for like if something tragic happens right like what you were just about with last pass we had my husband was saying like if i were to lose my wallet i don't have my credit card numbers written down and got where you know, so in the budget section, you can go to that. 
Um, there's so much, there's a how to without me section. So like if my husband's out of town and I know this sounds horrible, but he's the cook and I'm like, how do I use that stinking air fryer thing? <laughs> I told you, you better put that in there, you know? So it's a practical to all those what ifs in life so that we don't have to panic and we can have that peace of mind. Oh my gosh, and what a stress reliever that must be when you get it all written down and out of your head <laughs> and yeah, on yes. paper so people can find it. Yes, I had yeah. I lost my debit card uh, a few weeks ago and I had the same thing go through my head. Actually, I couldn't get, I called them and I couldn't give them the right numbers. And so I couldn't get back into it without having to go to the bank with three pieces of ID and like, and like mail and stuff like that. So it's so, so much more of a hassle because I didn't yeah. have it down anywhere else. So yes. I, I could just see how like between like kids vaccinations and like yes. you know, health issues and oh my gosh, so many things that this would be so helpful for. Um, it's just such a great, uh, brilliant idea. And it's uh, such a cool, cool thing for you to just have like that peace of mind. And like, you know, even if like I go out of town or my husband goes out of town, like what, where are things or like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you need a tire in my car or what happens if the car breaks down and he's not or whatever. Yes. <laughs> and as we learning things, we're updating, right? Like I didn't know, I found out from my friend and my husband, I've since run to the insurance place and updated it. Um, what I didn't know, and I'm not an attorney or anything, giving legal advice, I do recommend people get all their, you know, professionals involved in this because it brings all the pieces together is that, you know, we have people in our life that they know if something were to happen to both Todd and I, even though my kids are teenagers, I still, I'm like, okay, I would want you to raise them. Mm -hmm. What I didn't know is even if it's in the will, if it's not in your life insurance, it doesn't actually matter. Wow. So we went back to our life insurance and you can go there and talk to your life insurance agent. And I forget the proper term is something like a, um, something sort of says, I don't know, but your insurance agent will know. And then that way it's like official and you get to like decide, you know, all the things and it's such a weight off and it's like, oh my goodness, now I know. But yeah, even the out of town thing, when we lived in Texas, I told my husband he would travel so much and I said, babe, if something were to happen to you, you have all these company credit cards, somebody could take advantage of me. I wouldn't know which is which. So we have a whole workforce sector in there, whether you're self-employed or you have employees to protect both ends. You know, if you've bought somebody a laptop, Michelle, that's helping you with something, you would fill out, you know, the VIN number. And then when they turn it back in, you can sign off. Like it's literally everything that we can think of and we'll just always be adding. So it's completely customizable is the best part. You know, you're not going to need every part. You just need what you need. So that's awesome. Is there, um, within the uh, system, is there a way that people could, um, like, does it walk you through, like, if someone does pass, like, what are the steps you need to do in order to make sure you have everything, like, ready or know everything? I'm so glad you asked that because that's actually the first section because when, um, and Todd, my husband, was helping me do this as we were walking my friend through this, when we thought about this, we kind of, we actually had named it first the ultimate love letter because that's really what it is. You know, you're putting everything thinking outside of yourself as parents do. We let our little humans, which is a piece of our heart, walk around outside our body. Um, yeah, we were thinking, but what's the first thing? Because when you, when you said the word panic earlier, I know from my paramedic training that grief actually hijacks the functional part of our brain. And all of a sudden, I, I could just look at you and see like a gold light with zebra and not even see reality because that actually is a physiological thing that happens. So yes, we put that under first things first, what to do. Okay. And there's little check boxes. Did you do this? And then I have a little intro section in each section that walks you through. And so yes, everything's in there. Everything from even if you wanted to, you know, claim your service and pick that out and just write down, you know, a counselor's name. And at the very back end, we have a section where it has it's chock full of encouraging Bible verses and there's a word of encouragement and hope at the end. So yes, this is meant to be like filled out by you, updated by you as a gift to your loved ones. That's awesome. Uh, such a good program. I'm going to give everyone the link to it. Actually, can you give everyone the link to where to find? You have a free downloadable gift. We'll just share that right now too. And we'll put it in the show notes as well. But I just thought while we're just talking about it right now, I might as well send people there so they can go take a look at it. Sure. Yeah. If you want to take a look at the overall bundle, that's peaceofmindblueprint.com peace p-e-a-c-e of mind blueprint.com and if you want and there, you can see all the reviews there everybody that's talking about it um 
also we do have this freebie and you can get that at peaceofmindgift.com. And what that is, is kind of, that was definitely born more, it was born as a caregiver, but I appreciate it even more as a mother. And it's a simple PDF fillable medical form because how many times parents have you been at the doctor and your kid is like raging fever, they're really sick, you're terrified, and they're like, oh, do you remember if they had surgery? You have to fill out these forms, and you're like, again, the grief, my brain is not processing. You know, you can't remember all the things in the moment, and you're feeling pressure. So this is something you can keep updated. You can keep it on your phone. You can email it to the doctor's office. And I do say that as you update it, print out the old ones, keep them in a binder so that you can look back and see progress and remember but yes, it's just a wonderful, much simpler way. It may take you a minute on the front end, you know, to remember all those things. But once you have it filled out, ah, peace of mind, which is the ultimate, right? Yeah, and especially I could see like for for kids, especially like they not may not remember their health history, and if a parent is no longer there to like share with them what their health history was, they might not remember they had surgery or remember they had an issue. Uh, yes, that's a good idea. And I was born as a caregiver because I had my mom in the doctor's office one time and they wanted me to fill these things out. And my mom's ventilator was popping and her colostomy was going, all these things. And I just started crying. I said, I cannot fill this out. I said, listen, can I fill it out in the room? And then if I can type up something super simple for you, no fancy font, something scannable, because this is back in the day, um, and I could keep it updated, could I just bring that to you each time instead of filling out the form? And Michelle, she said yes. And I, uh, <laughs> oh, it was sheer bliss. <laughs> it was bliss, you know? And so I just kept it updated through the years. We would go home to my doctor's office. I would pull it up. I would just type in what was going on. And so that was the much more crude version, but this is the updated right. version. So it's just such a blessing and a weight off to not have to remember all those things. I've got your own and your spouse's too, just to kind of have it on hand. Right. Especially us that are in this like sandwich generation where we still have younger kids or kids that are teens and we have older aging parents like that we have to then start caregiving for. It's like it's a lot to remember, remember, manage and kind of keep all together in one place. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, that's a lifesaver. Do you uh, do you offer any sort of coaching along with your packages? Because I, I would do. be like, I think I would need to like a call Susan button because <laughs> yes. selling it out, you might have some questions. <laughs> yes. And there's a few things we recommend. One is because it can feel overwhelming to moms as things we don't like think about it. We suggest get a buddy, make it like, um, I don't know if you remember this because I'm probably much older, but they used to have these scrapbooking parties where people would get <laughs> together and they would, you know, and so like with your forums and with your peace of mind binder, do that. Just invite people over and say, hey, we're just going to go over the financial section. But yeah. yes, I do offer rewinding your taxes, you know. <laughs> yes, yes, I do offer a program called Live Free Now. We go into freedom in our mind and how we can set things up free. And we're going to go over it in a group on Zoom and just do section by section and not make it a big deal and keep it very lighthearted and infuse joy into the situation. And yes, I also offer one on one coaching. So they can email me at hello at legacygamechangers.com. And yeah, I just love hearing from everybody. And it's just such a nice, beautiful movement to think of peace of mind sweeping the nation. Yeah, absolutely. That well, freedom, that mental freedom and that peace of mind. Yeah, it's really named really appropriately too, because it does give you that peace of mind. And like you said, that heaviness on your soul that you yes. felt just as you were, you know, going in and out of consciousness of like, oh my gosh, do they know how to do this? Or do they know where that is? And I had a, a friend just recently, both her parents passed away within a matter of two weeks. And one had a binder full of stuff and she knew where it was. And the other one didn't have anything. And she was just like, oh, like, wow, like just the difference between two experiences. And yeah, when you're grieving, you don't, this is adds a whole other level of stress. And I'm sure it prevents a lot of people from really even moving through the grief or through, you know, PTSD or whatever it is from this, whatever situation it is, if it's a tragic one, um, then that really just adds a whole other layer of complexity to what's going on. And that is the problem. That's why I call it unnecessary to compound it suffering is, um, you know, nobody likes to talk about it, but we're not here forever. For me, that doesn't put me into a rabbit hole of worry, but a rabbit hole of like gratitude, just that I get to even be here for this moment. But it also, if it's true gratitude, it does what? It propels us to movement and to do something bigger than ourselves. 
and initiate leaving that legacy that lives beyond generations. And this peace of mind blueprint is like the first step to that. You get to actually be here with your loved ones, even when you're not here. Like I can't even imagine as a mother, that's what I think about. I'm like, oh, you know, something happens to me. I wish I could be here for my kids and just, and I get to now. Yeah. And they know, feel like they're like, taking care of, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's an awful thing. thing. Please you know, reach out. I love hearing from people. Yes. I, I just love that you're on this mission for the live free now movement. And, um, you know, I think as we're living, being free from that stress and then the, when the tragedy does happen, it's, it's not as, is 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 horrific with the, that unnecessary, um, compounded stress that you're uh, talking yeah. about. And I think that's such a great thing. My, uh, I know you're also an author, and so I wanted to ask you about your book. You have a highly acclaimed book called One Year of Thankful Thursday. So tell us about that. Yes, that book was, it's so funny, like so many things in our life, it just kind of happens. Um, I actually had quite a few readers of my blog and my social media emailing me requesting me to put one of my thankful social media theme days, Thankful Thursday, in a book format. And my response is, well, no, why would I do that? <laughs> and they said, well, because I would read it. I said, you would? They said, yes. So um, I said, well, let me do some praying about this. I don't know. So I tried to fight it and then doors started opening. And, started <laughs> and so actually we're on the precipice of a relaunch and it's about to be relaunched as well with um, all the updates added and the reviews in there. And we, we've we just been more thankful than anybody. But yes, it's just all about cultivating that heart of gratitude and eyes to see God everywhere. And it was just written out of a place of desperation for more than this world could offer. And just that simple beauty um, that kind of pushes away that call to keep up. So yeah the, the, how cool is that it came from just posting on social media <laughs> <laughs> now turn into a book and there's readers and that's a third to start of a whole like moving you've done there that's so so interesting i love it um susan you are just a delight and it's so fascinating all the things that you're up to and all um the things in in that you've put together the time and effort it takes to like coordinate all these things and put them all together so that the, your your audience and your tribe can have and us parents can have that peace of mind it's just so cool um before we let you go today i'm wondering if you have some words of wisdom for our parents yes i think um one thing that i try to really 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 remember in my parenting is that um this is something we actually use in our marriage too and it's not a, it's an unpopular thing but to consider that you could be wrong mm -hmm. and my husband and i have used that for 24 years in our relationship and it actually saved our marriage when we went through marriage struggles early on in our marriage and i think a lot of times with our kids you know we are thinking from an adult brain and a lot of moms are way better at me than doing this than i am so i'm not speaking for everybody here but for those that are like me they're like oh sometimes you know when it's like really the 30 second time and then if i take a step back and think well what if i'm wrong it's not that it's necessarily about being right or wrong but it keeps our heart and our mind softened so that we're able to kind of see our children a little bit more mm -hmm. and think from their perspective and it just helps kind of keep that humility and the calmness in the midst of what might be a struggle so Ooh, I like that. And it really like allows you that space to just kind of yes. like take a breath and lumbling. Yeah. <laughs> and yes. Ooh, that's really good. Love it. Well, Susan, thank you so much for being here again. And can you just give us the two domain names again uh, for where we can find the free PDF that's fillable and then also where we can find the peace of mind system? Yes. And first of all, thank you for having me again. And y'all show Michelle all the love, listen to all her podcasts, share it around, leave her testimonials. If you haven't met her in person, she's even more amazing than she sounds. So I'm just putting that out there. That's I, oh, yes, I, awesome. She's amazing. And yes, you can get your free um, PDF fillable medical form at peaceofmindgift.com. And you can look at the Peace of Mind Blueprint at peaceofmindblueprint.com. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. And thank you for having me. Uh, thanks so much, Susan, for being here. Blissful parents, go out there and make your life more blissful, please, by going and checking out Susan's stuff. 
uh, that peace of mind system, I think is going to really help a lot of us. And I'm looking forward to diving into it too. So until next time, guys, go out there, have a blissful parenting experience, and we'll see you again next week. Thank you.